Right, joining me right now, American Majority CEO Ned Ryan and former Pennsylvania Democratic Congressman Jason Altmaier. Good to see you both, Ned. Starting with you, um, it, it, I, I say let's be realistic. Uh, I, I suppose <laughs> maybe you know for some it's a good political talking point, and you get to feel really good about yourself, and you say we are a big country that's a welcoming country, which we are, and which we, we are. still can be always within the parameters of, of making sure that this is all done legally. But nonetheless, you have many right now on the left calling for the abolishment of ICE. What is your reaction? I, I find this honesty deeply refreshing that some of these Democrats are actually dropping the pretense and openly embracing open borders and also siding with illegal immigrants against the American taxpayer because that's really what this is about. You Trish. find it. It's an interesting I do find word it refreshing choice. because I think I, I think the Democrat Party, many of them have been masquerading as center left when in fact I think they are moving moving further and further far left. And I think they're compelled to do so because of their donor base and, and their grassroots. They're going further and further left and they're finding themselves more outside the mainstream of the American people, Trish. You look at these recent polls on immigration, two thirds of the American people want arrest and deportation at the border. Now you have over 50% of the American people, regardless of party affiliation, saying they want a wall. But I think the most staggering okay. uh, statistic that just came out from the Harvard-Harris poll was 69% of independent voters want stricter enforcement for immigration and juxtapose that against trying okay. to abolish so ICE. Let me go to I Jason. think Democrats are way outside the mainstream. Jason, you're from a state that isn't, um, well, you know, they, they, didn't, they didn't go for Hillary Clinton, right? So let's start right. with that. Um, what are voters telling you in Pennsylvania right now about how they feel about ICE and the desire to get rid of it? There's a few things going on here. Senators Warren and Gillibrand, I'm sure this is where their heart is. This is an issue they're passionate about and that they believe in and they feel like they're doing the right thing. On the moral side, the Democrats had an issue with the separation of children on the border that was working for them, uh, less importantly politically, but more importantly, they were morally in the place where I feel that they should have been. They're in danger now, however, of moving beyond that. When you talk about abolishing ICE, which is in charge, as you know, of domestic crimes such as drugs, child trafficking, violent crimes of immigrants, that's when you start to run into trouble, and I would disagree with that point of view just on policy, but on politics, that's a very dangerous place for Democrats to go in states yeah. where President Trump did well and yeah. won the election last time. That's a time. very interesting point. Gentlemen, it's very good to see you. Thank you so much, Ned and Jason. Thanks.